I have spent a lot of time learning about heroin, writing about heroin, learning about its victims, um, learning about its statistics. There's the girl who uh, uh, came from a very well, well-to-do family. There was a football player who uh, struggled mightily um, with heroin. I remember one story I did and I had, you know, here are the telltale signs, you know, and look for this. I knew everything, I, well, I can't say I knew everything about heroin, but I knew a lot about heroin, and I knew a lot about the damage that it does, the victims that it takes. And, and here it was happening right under my, my nose, in my own house, with my own son, who had promised never to do it. How, how did I not see this? How did I not know? Who knew? Why didn't they tell me? Wh what sign did I miss? Um, I did not know anything about Devin's heroin use until that day, the day he died. The phone rang and it was his younger brother, Nick. All I initially heard was, like a hard breathing and he was telling me mom mom Devin OD Devin OD and, and I'm like what are you talking about the doctor told us um, the Devin you knew is gone the part of Devin's brain that made Devin Devin is gone <sighs> Devin was the biggest part of my world. He was like this radiant beam of light. Is, is this the one? He knows my name and he's got my number? Somewhere between the Baba and the Dog, I heard the word I had waited for for so long, Mama. It came tripping out of Devin Gabriel's small and slobbering mouth. Ma, 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 ma. Like a babble, a vibrato, an ode to joy. I have six kids, but five are um, adopted, so I wasn't there at their births, and I don't share the genetics. I think I that put him on a different level because we Look shared so wow. much. Just some of his crazy habits, you know, his struggle with weight, we both had that. Um, his uh, love of beer, we both had that. Um, beer is to the big fish me and Nick are gonna catch tomorrow. <laughs> or tonight. We, tonight. And tonight, we're gonna, we're gonna catch some fish. He kind of scared me sometimes because he, uh, he felt invincible. He could probably drink anyone under the table, and probably did. He, um, he liked marijuana, which I don't. Um,
years ago, before he was 21, he could mix all his alcohols and drink so much more than I thought was reasonable. He had a, what's called a, the start of a fatty liver, which is one of the precursors to things like cirrhosis. His doctor at the time just laid into him and said, you're a young man, I shouldn't be seeing your liver looking like this. This is a warning sign to you. I figured as he got older, so he would um, experiment with different things. You know, experiment with other things, but not heroin. Stay away from that. And you know, when I talked to Devin, I didn't really get the feeling that that would be an issue. That's a photo we found in his phone. That's a photo we found in his phone. Oh, that's a photo of him in the hospital before he died. I thought I took that picture. That's the last photo. I used to tell Devin this thing. Um, we all, uh, in life, we all dig ourselves into holes, you know, and, and uh, the trick is not to dig the hole so deep that you can't ever get back out. I always said heroin was a hole too deep. It really kind of plays with your mind because you thought that with knowledge came power and knowledge came safety and knowledge let me down. So what I typically do is I just kind of turn around in this little driveway thing here and then I just kind of park on the other side and I just look to see what I see. I don't know why, I just do. This, this, uh, this is where um, uh, Devin used to buy his uh, heroin. If there's a deal transacting, there'll be a, there'll be a um, car like in that driveway. Um, you know, journalist curiosity. I want to, I want images in my head of what I think might have happened. I want as much information as I can get as to what transpired. Oh my God, you pour that much, guys? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I do drips. <laughs> Give him a dash, Joe. He doesn't need more. Devin gets turned. There you go. Oh, I missed. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm yeah, I, I And did. that's how we still let Devin drink. Put that bandana on Cora, you mother. Hey. It's been on her for like days. Dude, that's like my special bandana, bro. I found it on the floor. I know, I lost it. I know every single drug my brother's almost done. Um, first it was pot, he smoked a lot of pot. Um, then he started drinking, he drank a lot. I've smoked crack with Devin, I've smoked heroin with Devin, I've smoked DMT with Devin. We've, we experimented with things. For a while he um, wasn't addicted to meth, but he was definitely using meth a lot. I quit my job because he was driving under the influence of heroin. He would shoot up, he would shoot up a 75 cc shot and go drive from the South Valley all the way up here. I didn't know if he would not out behind the wheel. I wouldn't. It was just all. I don't know. I don't know. Four times I brought him back. 
That's why I thought I had it under control. That's why I didn't think I needed to tell anyone. I thought we had a grip on it. I look at it this way. I think if I had known, if say his younger brother came and said, mom, I have to tell you something. Number one, and, and he, he says this too, um, uh, mom, you probably wouldn't have believed me. And I thought about that and I thought, you know what? He might be right because Devin was great at <laughs> manipulating me. This was Devin's room. It's been changed completely. His bed was here, out this way. After Devin died, I never came back in this room. To me, I just couldn't bear seeing his room, so I, I redid the room because I knew that some of his friends might want to come, come here and stay. I look back and I say, you know, I still gave it 100%. I, 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 I don't believe in living in guilt. I just think that will eat you alive. So I won't go there because I'm not, I'm not that different. We all might not know what's happening behind a closed door. I may think I know what's going on, but and you as a parent may think you know what's going on, but but maybe just ask yourself if you do, because I thought I did, and I didn't know. <laughs>